is my stash for now. I'll take you down to the stream later and show you what we bought plug plants because they, um, they look a little disappointing when you get them. Did you see how easy it was to, not easy, but I thought moving that telegraph pole was going to take me forever and I was convinced it was going to be, you know, it's going to knock down the barn or, I mean, it's heavy. And it just worked the first time. We got the bigger digger a bit trapped on the edge of the, um, the barn at the end, but I mean, that took less than five minutes, which is a big winner. In the last video, I said about the projects that are coming and I fumbled around a bit, basically mentioning solar and hydro several times. Um, the reason I said it is because I do have a big long list of things we're going to go through. So I wrote it down on the back of a piece of screw fix um, paper. So I've mentioned the bridge, fencing, chop trees. I suppose that just means chopping trees, isn't it? Address sign, we're going to make a cool, funky address sign, maybe out of round earth. Uh, greenhouses, we're going to design greenhouses that are going to be passive and hopefully run off uh, hydropower, I'm mentioning hydropower again. Um, we're going to design some cool, affordable, naturally lit, naturally heated uh, greenhouses that I'm going to try and try and work through, a way of building them without foundations and, and make them as I like things to be closed circles, so we're going to try and make those closed circles. Mushrooms, we're going to try and grow mushrooms using the damp environment we've got here. Hydroponics, we've kind of tied that in. Bees, we're going to be keeping bees. Tree planting, I've mentioned. Fruit tree groves, so we're going to make these raised beds um, and try and fill them with... We kept all the sheep poo that I said through there, so we're going to try and, try and make some fruit trees. The reason we're not planting them straight into the ground is because it's quite damp and I'm not sure they'll do that well. What else we got? Barn fix up, yeah, we're gonna be making the workshop and stuff. Septic tank, we've got a composting septic tank arriving that we're gonna to have to be plumbing in, which is also part of that gray water uh, reed bed that we are collecting the reeds for. So we're gonna be going through how we actually do that. Water filters, so I've got four, um, oh, I won't bother, they're just big blue drums, but we're gonna be putting our water collection up there and we got a quote for one, it's about three and a half grand, but it had pumps and it was just a really complicated, unnecessarily expensive thing. And I thought there's gotta be a better way of doing that. Given we've got height, we've got water, um, I feel like there should be a, a cheaper way of, not just cheap, I don't mean cheaper in money so much, I mean cheaper in energy. Like it feels really stupid to just give money and power over to something as simple as collecting water, given almost, well, every other animal on the planet just drinks the we're not going to drink the river water, but you know what I mean? We're making it so complicated for ourselves. So I've got a non-electricity, no input pump system um, that I, ha I haven't designed, but I've kind of modified it that we're going to be doing. Uh, what else we've got? W washing machine. How do you do a washing machine off grid? Um, I have planned that. So we're going to, we're going to be going through how we do that. Solar hydropower re refrigeration. I, I'm trying... <laughs> I'm going to try and make this quick because the last video was really long. This is a this is quite a long list. Um, refrigeration. I kind of feel like a lot of a lot of utilities are just because we have electricity available. We think, oh, I'm just going to plug it in, and then that's how we solve the problem. We don't think outside of the box. Like, what if we didn't have electricity? What if we never invented it? What refrigeration would we have developed if we didn't rely on just plugging it in? I think sometimes it's really dumb dumb way of designing is just starting with oh I'll just base it on electricity because there are other ways to do it and we found other ways to do it I haven't invented them again it's just things we found off the internet uh, so we're going to be looking at how to do a natural fridge and I'm not talking about a small little fridge either we're, we're planning big big kind of room scale refrigeration whether it works or not who knows but we're going to try and film it uh, barbecue we're going to make a custom barbecue roundhouse we're going to make a roundhouse haven't quite decided how we're going to do that. It's going to be natural, but I want to set some rules. So it's, it might use modern building knowledge, but I'd like it to be old, as in, you know, prehistoric old. Um, and we're going to try and run that all off renewables. Underfloor heating, so passive underfloor heating, water underfloor heating, but without a boiler or anything like that. So naturally heated using probably sand and solar heating. Uh, underfloor cooling, we're going to try and do underfloor cooling. Wind power, 
grey water reed bed, we've gone over paper log bricks. Yeah, so what do we do with our waste? We're gonna um, make our cardboard into fire bricks and we've got a bin that I've brought with me, which is gonna make into a big composting bin that I'm gonna do. Gravity battery, which is a bit of an uh, ambitious project, but we're going to be trying to do a gravity battery, which is just suspending a weight. Um, but I'm gonna try and find a way of doing that so that there's no inputs again. We don't have to spend it on electricity or anything. Uh, a light okay now we're going to the ambiguous stuff so i've got my eye on this light aircraft um that i want to try and modify and restore so these aren't really eco but this is just some cool stuff we've got coming out the motorbike i've mentioned kids play equipment we're going to try and make like a big kids fortress around here i also want to make him a small little aircraft that like the wallace and gromit one that you know he's in and i think that'd be really cool whether we film that i don't know the workshop cave top of the hill so i'm I'll probably just take you up there to have a look but i've got to ask permission from the landowner because like i said it's not mine at the top it's not uh, desk oh a hot tub yeah so i want to make a hot tub but again same deal as the um water filter you can just buy one but really expensive and doesn't seem that it's like they're trying to retrofit two different technologies together and you, i just feel like there should be an easier way to get hot bubbly water than you know plugging it into the grid taking a ton of power they're really ugly too aren't they um, so I'm going to try and do a hot tub that doesn't require electricity and be log fired uh, and I'll try and use my knowledge of construction to insulate it properly and I'll perhaps use some kind of passive you know pump heat system from the log burner to try and I just don't want to put pumps everywhere it, these problems are easy if you're willing to just plug it in run the power and pay for it and I mean pay for it in energy rather than paying are you paying for it in brain cells like you can think hard enough to make things work you just have to spend the time and perhaps put the constraints on yourself in the first place so if power's available which is why we're trying really hard not to connect to the grid you'll be like oh i'll just i'll just connect this once i'll just use it this once but if it's not there and you enforce the constraint i'm fairly sure you would come up with more inventive solutions which i think is what half of this site's about um Man, that's seven minutes on. Okay, right. I'm making this. This video is going to be shorter. Um, I'll get on with the work.